Welcome back everyone to Mass Effect Andromeda. So in our first video in the series, we took a basic look around in the menu, looked at some of the options from graphics to audio, and then finished up by looking at some of the options in character creation. Now we see on the right hand side, again, where we ended up, we are going to play as a male character. Our name is going to be Brian Ryder. Change the, the first name is all you're allowed to change here. Uh, and we're going with the default appearance. I changed the training to a technician, which is going to give me, uh, at least at the beginning, uh, some options to uh, control things like drones and whatnot. And we'll see how, how much we get into that from the very beginning. But again, my understanding, as I mentioned in the first video, is that this is really going to open up for us and we're not... Uh, set down any particular path uh, so we'll be able to open up a whole bunch of other options I'm hoping as we level up during the game so we changed our name our twin also using the default appearance and the history is you have male or female shepherd and I have male shepherd uh, as far as I know it doesn't actually use any of your decisions you made in the first three games of the series uh, which would make sense since we're traveling the whole idea here is that we're traveling to a brand new galaxy. So those are the options that we have to start. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to turn off the mic and we're going to go through sort of the introductory part of the game, let you see the opening sequence and actually see, let you see the beginnings of the storyline as it unfolds. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality.
to take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering that unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settled down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well? Ryder? Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, 